Why is it that every single time that spring comes around, I immediately start wearing braids? Like all the time. I am braids, braids are me, we are one. Hello everyone! I am here today to share with you guys a video that I'm very excited about and we are going to be testing out a whole bunch of products that were recommended to me from Instagram and Facebook ads. And I believe this whole concept if I'm not mistaken, was all started by Sophia Nygaard here on YouTube. She's been doing a variety of these different videos where she is testing out different products from Facebook ads and Instagram ads, and they're super funny, really entertaining, so I wanted to drive myself. Over the last week and a half or so, I have been testing out all of these products, using them in different ways, and now I wanna sit down and like share all that footage with you guys, share my experience and what I thought of it, and if it was actually any good. So give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on new videos here every Thursday and Sunday. I also do videos over on my Rachel's Life channel every Saturday if you are looking for more videos because I'm always looking for more videos. I'm so excited to share with you guys my findings on everything. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first product we are gonna talk about is the Beautified Glow Pore Vacuum. This is one I feel like everyone and their mom has been recommended on Instagram or Facebook and it's just one of those products that you see and you're like, but does it actually work? Because it looks really interesting. When you see the ads, it looks like it's extracting everything out of your pores that you had in there since you were like 12. But you know what? In the name of science, I ordered it. BG Vacuum Pro Deep Cleanser. So the pore vacuum actually came with a bunch of different heads that you can put on top and it will do different things depending on which one you use. So there are ones that are going to suck the stuff out of your pores, but there are also ones that are supposed to also just like bring blood circulation to the skin area and like eliminate wrinkles. And it came with this package with these sponges in it. I, I still don't know what these are. So in order to get the best results possible, I decided to follow step by step the instructions that they list on the back. I wanted the results of the girl in the ad. I wanted it to just like everything to be out. So I started by cleaning my face with warm water and then I did like a full on steam of my face. So I took some boiling water, poured it into a big bowl and then just steamed my face. And then pore vacuum time. Don't worry about me, just sitting here waiting for this thing to charge. There are so many different heads. I had to like look it up because I had no idea what half of these did. And also these sponges. There's no indication anywhere as to what these did. Apparently this has three different settings. So I'm gonna do it on the lowest one first. Put on my glasses because I can't see. This is the tiny one. This one is for the, uh, the nose. My glasses are steaming up because of my face. So weird. It's like suctioning my nose, which is a weird feeling. Can I do this on my chin too? I got a lot of like white heads on my chin. I feel like this is a really good for it. My skin is turning really red. This is alarming me. So it is getting some stuff out of out of here. It looks kind of gross probably, but you know, that that's good. This one is next. This one has like a little silver thing on it, and I think that's for like microdermabrasion. You want to move in quick sections over the entire face, not settle in one area for too long. By the way, I look crazy in my viewfinder. Like an absolute nut job. Let's just take these off. Oh, not much better, Rachel. Whatever. You guys already know what it looks like. So let's do it on like a, the next level up in terms of suction power. Oh, that is more aggressive. I didn't really notice a huge difference in terms of like smoother skin. But maybe I'll try it a little bit more on my forehead and then I think I need to give my skin a little bit of a rest. One of the biggest things that I was worried about was based off of one of the instruction things that says don't keep the little vacuum in one place for more than five seconds because you may bruise your skin which is terrifying. So at first I started to go over the areas like super quickly and I was like just trying to like go over everything because I was like don't bruise, don't bruise, don't bruise. But as I started to get used to it and I was using like the lowest possible setting and using the sensitive head one first, like the really tiny one uh, for the nose, I started to get used to it and I could like actually slow down the movements a bit without being really super worried. And it got stuff out, like it did actually do a good job. I was telling my sister-in-law Caroline, we call her dibs, I don't remember if I called her dibs in this video, but she's dibs. But I was telling her that I was testing out this pore vacuum and she got super excited because she's also seen the ads because everyone's seen these ads. And so we decided to film her experience with this device. Here's her beautiful skin. Ooh. 
so now she's going to steam her face and then we are going to apply this little vacuum thing. Dun, 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 dun. It's so pretty. Yeah, you haven't seen it yet. I haven't. You know, I didn't really see myself getting famous for any reason, but I could see myself being the person like the notable disgusting pores. This could be my <laughs> rise to fame. Okay, so that's level one and you have to move it quickly, not quickly, but like over, don't hold in one spot for more than five seconds, otherwise you're gonna bruise. Wait, you said this could bruise? It can, the skin can bruise, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, you weren't kidding. That I, I have not done the that level yet, so. You just let me do that. <laughs> well, I told you. You feel it? Okay, you getting that now? Yeah. yeah. It, it, like, you have to contour it, sort of. Yeah. Is it, is it coming out? Yeah, mom, don't show it. <laughs> I don't think I would have thought it was, I'm kind of grossed out. I don't think I would have thought it's this effective. Like, you know, you know those things that look really good online, you're like, oh, okay, but is it really gonna suck things out of my face? It's gonna suck things out of your face. See, this is the kind of thing you can't come back from. No, and they're like, wow, I should wash my face more often. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Going in slower motions is better. Yeah, I was going a little slow at first, but when you, well, you kind of scared me with the whole bruising thing. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get a little fancy with this. Where okay. are my grossest? There's a bigger one too. If you wanted to do like, this is for extra suction power. For this, this one. This one you can use for like the rest of the face. That one's like for contouring the nose and stuff. Like okay, for the nose sense. areas, you know? Oh, you know what? Maybe you wash your face every night. Dibs. I'm busy. Try the big one now. Mm. Level three, let's go. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. Yeah, no, I'm kind of scared. Please don't bruise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's big. Oh, oh. All right, uh-oh. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> you have a line on your face. It's like someone ran over me. <laughs> Lower, lower setting. I'm so scared for no, your skin. I'm here for the truth, and if the truth hurts, that's what it is. Oh, oh no! Get right. it out! Get it out! Feels so much better. Now that physically all that's done. yes, emotionally no. Emotionally, <laughs> I'll never be the same. I mean, like now your skin's clear, but like it's so red that worries me. I know. Look oh at me. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. See, this is the kind of disaster thing you do when you're going for like grad pictures. Like, Nick, I'm now such clear skin, and then you end up being that meme oh. of that guy with the braces. <laughs> but you got lots of stuff out of your face. Okay, now I'm very cleanly. Thanks so much. So much. I'm probably gonna get it. Gonna, you're gonna buy it too. Well, yeah, because it's and I, like Biore strips are good, but this is like next level. Yeah. Her nose actually legitimately <gasps> feels so soft. This That's is a crazy. Movie. Bruised and baby soft. Like, was it worth it? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> I think it's good, but you have to be so careful and know your skin um, in advance of using this because it does actually have strong suction. It is actually going to really aggressively like suction out everything. Like that, can you hear that? That's the strongest setting. This is like the number one setting. Like it's suctioning my skin. I have not tried it for fine lines only because <laughs> I'm just so young. But like the one area where I would start to notice any sort of fine lines is more around the eye area and I don't recommend using a pore vacuum near your eye. Carolyn mentioned that she thought it was better than the like pore strips that she's used. So I think overall, does it do what it says it's gonna do? Yes. Can it be super aggressive if you're not careful? Yes. But overall, I liked it. It's just not something I'm gonna use all the time. Next up is a little quick product. This was something that was recommended to me and I have tested out this brand before and this was a new launch for them. It is the Glossier Mango Balm.com Universal Skin Solve. And I have used these types of products before and then they said mango and I was like, I'm sold. So I have been using this on my skin. This is what it looks like. It is a very, very thick kind of a paste. Um, that you just apply anywhere where you would get dry skin. So for me, that's cuticles, elbows, knees, like that's basically also lips, like I've applied it basically all over and it smells unbelievable. Like it smells like fresh mangoes and I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. This is probably my favorite scent of all of the different ones that they have. The only thing I have about this particular product is that when the room is really cold and this product gets a little bit more on the colder side versus right now, the product is much thicker and harder to get out and I've had it break through 
the other end because it's such a thick product. This product needs to be like heated up under water or like in my hands a little bit first before I attempt to like push the product out. I also have eczema on my hands. Um, so that's why I never wear my wedding band in case anyone's wondering. But like right in here, you can see a little bit of redness there, but like usually this is all like bright red up on the side. This does not irritate it. A lot of products that have like fragrances in it tend to really irritate my skin, but this one doesn't at all. It just feels nice and nourishing and smooth. It is a little on the greasy side, um, but I love it. It's a great product. Wow, I love how I said that was quick and then I talked for like 15,000 minutes. Next up, let's talk about this, ooh, this mirror. I bought a mirror that was recommended on Instagram from Impressions Vanity and they make these beautiful lighted mirrors that you can put on your vanity. That's, that's the name of the brand. But they sell so many different ones and they had this particular sale going on where they had one mirror and it was like 25 bucks. So I tried to find that one first, but it was sold out because it was $25. But I did end up buying one. I tried to find the most popular one that was one that could kind of sit on my vanity because my vanity is right in front of me. And if I put a big mirror here, you I couldn't film. This is the Impressions Vanity Touch Pro LED Makeup Mirror. Who knew we could get so intense with mirrors, but all right. Oh, it's, I was wondering why it wasn't opening. It's got a sticker. They always have stickers. Let's read about this while I attempt to peel off the sticker. It's a tilt and swivel makeup mirror. It has dimmable daylight LED lighting, audio, it has uh, charging centers, it has cordless operation, and a travel-friendly size and function. Okay, interesting. All right, let's open this up. Wow, that's like pretty big. So like, that's my hand in comparison to it. That's like pretty giant. I have big hands. Okay, we have some assembly required. Be right back, fam. All right, we're back. I have it all set up here. All ready to go, so let's turn on the light and do the makeup for the day. So first of all, the lights. It's supposed to mimic daylight so that when you're applying your makeup, you just get the best possible lighting for getting the, everything to match properly. And daylight is like the best light ever. If I could not have to do studio lights and I could just use daylight all the time, I 100% would. Color tones in like studio lights, I can't, I cannot. I cannot. So I decided to test it out and not use any of my studio lights when attempting to do my makeup. And I wanted to kind of film that, see what that was like, see what my makeup actually looked like. And that particular day was like a pretty cloudy day. So I wasn't getting a lot of light in through my windows. I have four windows like right in front of me here. Okay, so let's turn this on. So apparently I just need to touch it and then it'll turn on and then I can hold it to adjust like the brightness. Oh, honestly, that's not like crazy bright. I feel, I feel like I'm looking at like a monitor right now. That's what it looks like in my viewfinder. Wow, you can see every pore on my face. This is exciting. Honestly, this is feeling a little bit dark to me with like no other light on. Um, I do have the windows open or anything like that. I'm not expecting this to like completely light up a dark room, but um, it's not super bright out. Also this, with all the lights on in and the tone, I don't know, my skin, like it shows everything. Let me turn on another light and just see if this like looks better. Wow, my skin looks really terrible. I don't know if it's just maybe the makeup I chose today, but it is not looking great. I'm gonna test out the, um, the Bluetooth on this thing. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna turn it on. Wow. Bluetooth mode. Is it done? Okay, let's turn on Bluetooth. Okay, do I need to connect it? No, I don't want to connect to my car. Connect it! Okay, try calling it, try calling it. I'm calling you? Yeah, call me, because it should come through on here. <gasps> now we're friends from far away. Now you can bug me at all times. Uh-oh. Uh, uh <laughs> this is amazing. Can you hear your mirror? Can, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. I don't know how to hang up on you, though. Uh, well, I hung up on you. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts. This mirror is intense. These like daylight lights are really extreme. And so when you see yourself for the first time, it's, it's, it's a little shocking. Like every minute little smudge, smear, pore, eyebrow hair out of, like everything shows up in these mirrors. Especially as someone who like tests out makeup on the regular and like not every product works well for me. I don't need to see it to that extreme level as not working because I'm also a perfectionist. So if I see testing out a product and I'm looking at it just in like a regular mirror, my regular, like my studio lights are also super harsh. So like I can see everything really well. Um, but 
it just, it, it was too, it was almost like looking at your skin in a magnifying mirror. You know, when you're it's just like, I'm not supposed to see it up that close. <laughs> I tried it that particular day, testing out products I hadn't used before. And I was like, this is awful. And then I tried it today using products that I do really love that I know work really well together. And it was very different. Like I liked the way that my makeup looked in this mirror and like doing a little bit of research online and people talking about these lights. It seems like if you spend the time and you make your makeup look good in this mirror with these lights, your makeup will look good literally everywhere. I do really like the mirror itself. <laughs> there we go. Look at those lights. Oh, look it. There's me. And also my poor vacuum thing. Ah, wow. My highlight is very pink today. Everything about this product is good. I just think for me personally, the lights are a little too extreme for every day. Next up is a skincare brand that I was recommended. This is called New Body and it's a brand out of Toronto actually. And they have a bunch of really good quality, just natural ingredient skincare. And so I bought three of their products here. I have Awake, which is a rose toning mist. I have their Pina Colada Sugar Lip Scrub and then their Soothe Pink clay mask. These are all among their most popular products. I kind of wanted to test out like the best of the brand to kind of get a sense of like what they're known for. Okay, so we're going to be testing out the new body pink clay mask. So I got three items from them. So we're going to try them out today. Um, so this was really, really highly rated for kind of minimizing pores. And it says here it has French pink clay. It's going to remove impurities in the skin. And you can see like I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but my pores are giant today. So it says mix one tablespoon of the clay mask with a few drops of your preferred liquid, such as water or a toner. Actually, I have a toner from them. The rose toning mist. So we'll, we'll put some of that in there. I guess this is a, oh, it's a, oh, wow. Okay, this is like a full on powder situation. Wow, I feel like a chemist right now. So I guess I will probably need something to mix this in. Like my hand's not gonna be enough for like a tablespoon, right? Okay, I need I need to go get supplies, hang on. All right, I'm back. I got a bowl, I got a teaspoon. Not a tablespoon, but I'm too lazy to go back downstairs. Oh, oh, this is so messy. I'm getting this like all over my countertop. Okay, so here is a te teaspoon. That feels like a lot though. Maybe we'll do two teaspoons instead of a tablespoon. I need to close this up now because the instructions are on the bottom. Few drops of preferred liquid. Okay. So I guess spritzes in this case because it's it's a toning mist. Ooh, nice glass bottle. Oh, fancy. What does it smell like? Ooh. Oh, that smells like legit roses. Oh, that smells amazing. So I'm gonna very carefully spray this because if I spray it directly, all of that beautiful powder is gonna go everywhere. Got some liquid in there. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. What consistency am I looking for? This is very labor intensive. I hope this is worth it. Until a paste has formed. So I need more because that was not enough. Ooh, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna spray the spoon. Oh, why don't I just open this? Honestly, Rachel, sometimes, you know, just the brilliant things just come to you when you're least expecting it. Pour a little bit into here. I'm really trying here, guys. Oh, I don't like the sound of the scraping because it feels all chalky. Anyone else get like really weirded out by that? And then we'll use this brush and say, oh, that's doing a much better job. So that is what I've come up with. Most of it is in the brush right now. So now I'm going to, oh, I need to wash my face. Step number one. All right, squeaky clean, can't see anything now. Ah, let's paint on this mask. And I'm just gonna focus it on the areas where I have enlarged pores. I don't need to put this like all over my face. Not that I feel like I would have enough to do so anyway. Oh, I lied, maybe I would. You guys see how much I'm applying here? Wow, okay. I feel like one tablespoon would have been way too much. Like I feel like I would have run out of that clay really super fast. I feel like I can get away with like two teaspoons and that would be more than enough for my entire face or one teaspoon for just like the T-zone. Just using whatever's left on the brush to kind of wipe it around the rest of my face. I don't really need anything in that area though. So now I'm going to clean these, let this sit. It says on the instructions list, sit on the skin for about eight to 12 minutes. So we're gonna do that and then rinse with a lukewarm water. So be right back. All right, I'm back, it is dried down, it's like, it's very like tight, but you can see it's like fully like started to crack and stuff. I was downstairs talking to my brother-in-law 
who is helping move a bunch of boxes to the garage because we're doing massive renovations in the basement. Updates on that on Rachel's site if you're interested. But what I want to do before I rinse this off is I want to test out the last product I got from New Body. This is their Pina Colada Sugar Lip Polish. This is one of their most highly rated lip polishes and it's, yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It seems like it has a bunch of good natural oils in it as well as like shea butter and sugar. Awesome. Does it smell like a pina colada? It does. It's like a little coconutty. It's a little fruity. Yeah, it's pretty pina colada-y. All right, so let's talk about this. First of all, it is super messy. I would recommend doing this like as your last step before you go in the shower and then rinse it off because you can see my sink is a disaster zone right now. But in terms of how my skin looks and how my lips feel, like my lips feel nice and smooth. Oh, they're not, hold on. My lips look really dry, but they're smooth. That's a weird thing. But in terms of my skin, I don't know if you guys can see, but my pores do look smaller. This is really aggressively up close, I'm very sorry. They look a lot smoother and like shrunken down. They don't look so like cratery. Oh, oh that's nice. So my thoughts having used these products a couple more times since the first time that I tested out, um, I have to say that the pink clay mask is beautiful. It is very messy. My, my opinion still stands from the first time that I tested it. And my pores, every single time that I use it, legitimately look smaller. The toner is also nice. I've tried it in a bunch of different ways, also with like makeup application. And I feel like using this as like a rehydrator during the day was really nice. Like my skin looked really good after I used it, but the spray, is a little aggressive so you almost have to use it from like farther away and use it fast so you don't get like splotch marks but it felt really good on the skin i like mixing it in with the clay mask like the the powder i thought that was really nice and felt really good on the skin using with the sponge to blend out concealer was terrible i've done this with a bunch of other like setting sprays or like the first Sally um rose gold mist beautiful this product it like clumped up my concealers i tried it with two different ones and it just looked awful and cakey and, and then the mirror just like really enhanced it so that wasn't great i've used it as a toner as like a toning mist um in the same way i would use any other toner that was really nice the ingredients are really good it's a good quality toner it smells incredible i like that the sugar lip polish it smells really good but for whatever reason every time that i use it and then dry my lips my lips get these like really like tiny little lines on them like they're over dried I, I, like I don't know what I'm doing it's, it's not like I've never used a sugar lip scrub before I'm not new to this but this one just made my lips look smooth but really dry overall the product shipped really quickly everything was like safe and secure like these are all like glass containers like good quality stuff um, it shipped quickly I had no problems with the brand. I thought that was good. Now on to some hair extensions because what is a testing Instagram and Facebook ads video without including some hair extensions? And not just any hair extensions. These were specifically ponytail hair extensions. And I've honestly, I've always wanted to try them, which kind of weirded me out. The ones that I tested were from the brand Zala. And so when I went to the website, I saw all these different options for ponytails. You can use synthetic, you can use real hair. There are different lengths that you can choose. They had a lot of really nice like um, videos as well. So you can see what the different lengths look like on different hair types and like but depending on if you do like a high, medium, or low ponytail too, which I thought was really good, nice and thorough. I do love myself a good thorough brand. This is what they look like. Look how long they are. They didn't have any in the 16 inch um, that I wanted, so they have the 22 inch though. Oh my gosh, I've never had hair this long before ever. Okay, we're sitting on my floor because I just filmed it's hot over there. Ooh, it feels so soft. In the actual box, it came with like a whole bunch of stuff, so stuff to actually protect your extensions and all of the different instructions depending on which type of hair extensions you got. So I got the ponytail one. So it seems pretty straightforward. There's like a little clip thing here and you stick that into the ponytail and then it has like Velcro and you basically just wrap it around the ponytail. I can do that. Should probably get a mirror though. Wow, my makeup looks really good in this light. Obviously I'm gonna like straighten it and make it look good. I just wanna know how to apply it. So I'm make sure I'm doing it right. Just says wrap the band around my ponytail so little 
but it's like really a struggle to make it work. And then pinning it with a bobby pin. They provided one, but require two. Like I can feel the extension. That's supposed to happen? My head hurts so much and this is not getting concealed at all. Okay, I finally got it into a low ponytail to test out how it like actually worked. I feel like Rapunzel right now. My daughter's going to love this. But you can see right there, like it feels fake, like I can feel like netting here, which I don't love, but like, I don't know. That's what it looks like. I just want to keep playing with my hair. Now I know why people with long hair just keep playing with it, because it's like, it's right there. It's right there. I feel like I need to be way more dramatic now that I have this. Just sit here and talk to myself with my super long ponytail. So I've had this in for a grand total of maybe 20 minutes, guys, and you can already see, like, it's straining at the bobby pin here. I don't know, that doesn't look really real right now. Okay, now that the hair is nice and straight, let's do this like higher ponytail. Gosh, it's already feeling heavy and I haven't even secured it yet. All right, now it is in. This is what it looks like. I wish it was a little bit more like up, you know? Like it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like it's just sort of like, I want it to look like this. Not like that. Honestly, it's just, it's too heavy. I think I have to trim off, like actually go into a salon and get some trimmed off. So currently, as I am filming this right now, I have, I have what Christopher calls a real hair appointment for my fake hair. And now, through the magic of editing, I will insert the footage of me with the now chopped down ponytail. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. Day three of this ponytail. Um, it looks good. The quality of the ponytail is good, but I had to do a couple of things to actually make it work. Number one, I had to add like a texturizing powder to the strand that wraps around to give it a little bit of grip for something for the bobby pin to like slide into and stay adhered. I also applied bobby pins all the way around um, so that it wouldn't slide out and it would like stay intact. But it's a lot shorter now and I like it a lot better. Like the length is like a lot better for me. The hair match isn't a perfect hair match and I don't know if it was because of the color my hair was if it like changed slightly but my hair seems to be a little bit of a warmer tone than this one is definitely recommend the 16 inch i think that's just a better length at least for me if you have fine hair it's just going to blend a little bit better the quality of the extension is good it's just been a struggle for me what do you guys think have you been recommended any of these products before have you actually bought anything through these ads leave me a comment down below if there are any particular brands that you see over and over again and you're like stop i clearly keep going past these and I don't want them. Make sure you check out these videos in case you have missed any and that is everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome week and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.